All right, ladies, so our 2014 finished out very strong with several promotions. And 2015, we've already got a few more on the way. So I know it can get a little overwhelming when you're partying consistently and then you start building a team, you can feel like you're dropping the ball on a few things. So I wanted to show you how I keep everything organized between my customers, uh, my personal business, and my team using clipboards and two binders. I'm a very big believer in using a calendar and doing calendar blocking and all the basic time management techniques. But my reality um, as a mom with four very small children is also that they change my plans frequently. And instead of feeling like I'm failing because things aren't done when they're scheduled to be done, uh, this helps me see that they're getting done uh, when they should be, maybe not within the hour, but they're being taken care of and my business is growing as a result of it. So if you haven't watched or listened to the No Lead Left Behind training on 31today.com, you need to do that. Uh, that is, as far as I'm concerned, that's one of the most powerful trainings out there on TOT for you to listen to. And it'll help you uh, understand a little more deeply how I'm putting that next binder together. But we're going to start with the clipboards. And this is just the Hostess Coaching Checklist from 31today.com. So any of my hostesses that have parties on my calendar, I have their information filled out on here. And then this form helps me just keep track of, am I doing my hostess coaching like I should be? Then any orders that we collect leading up to the party, I file them right behind her form so that I always have an idea of where her party stands. Then we get to the party, we collect orders, we have a fabulous time, we come home, and while I'm waiting on the party to close... I move her hostess coaching checklist to the very back. I've got all of her party orders right here. <clears throat> and then this is a page that I keep on top uh, of her particular party. And it, I like to track what her party total was, how many guests we had at the party, how many outside orders we collected. And because I give back to Mariah's house and Shade Tree uh, and Safe Nest here in Las Vegas um, based on Roundup for Gives and URU products that we sell. I like to keep track of that information as well. Now I also list out each guest's name on here. I know I have their order forms or I can go on my back office and look at that, but I like to have the visual just so that I know I'm taking care of each guest um, because I had a tendency in the past to forget about those that placed online orders because I didn't have the paper in front of me. So now with everybody's name here, I've done a lot better at keeping track of that. And then I run my checklist. I make sure I've sent a thank you to my hostess. I send a thank you to each guest. When her party has shipped, I let her know. And if she had a Facebook event, I post it on there as well. When the party arrives, I split it out, I decorate it up, and I deliver it to the hostess. Then I start to transition from my clipboards to my binder that was talked about on the No Lead Left Behind training. And my setup and construction of this binder is just the way they talked about on the training. I just use it for a few additional tasks. So you can see everything. <clears throat> I have the tabs down the side for 1 through 31 for each day of the month. And this kind of serves as my calendar slash to-do list as well. So for today being the second... Uh, when I open this up, I come into my office in the morning and I open my binder to the next page and I know that on the second, everything in this tab is stuff that I need to take care of today. So when I get a new team member anywhere in my team, I fill out the form, the new consultant information form from TOT and while they're in Start Swell, they're in this binder because when I check TOT or check my back office, run my downline in the mornings, I like to be able to see if she's earning different levels of start swell so that I can recognize her in appropriate uh, time frame. So all of my new team members come into here. And then I also keep, this is uh, just a screenshot of, an inf of information from one of my home office leads. And I had sent out catalogs to this lady uh, last week, and I knew I told her in the email that I was going to follow up with her this week just to make sure that she received her catalog uh, safely and answer any questions that she might have. So tomorrow, when I turn over to pay day three, I know that I need to follow up with these home office leads and make sure that they receive their catalogs. I have a couple gals um, that I already checked on their starts well, and I've moved them over as well. 
But so getting back to our party from the clipboard, I'm going to take this packet of information and if I delivered her party today on the 2nd, then in two weeks, I want to make my pink bag call. So I'm going to just go ahead now that I've delivered her party and I'm going to file her here behind the 16th. So when that morning rolls around and I come to this page, I know that I need to contact all of these individuals and do my pink bag calls. Make sure that they've unpacked their products, that they like them, that they're happy with their embroidery and everything came out just the way they were hoping it would. Then I'm also going to do another checkup with them in 75 days from the time they place their order. You know, we have a 90-day warranty. So before the warranty is expired, I want to reach out to them again and make sure that their products are living up to their expectations. And if there's anything that needs to be replaced, if they had a broken zipper, if a snap came undone, I don't want them to think they have to keep it. Uh, I want to make sure that they know that our warranty is going to take care of them. So... I only have one through 31 on here because there's 31 days in a month. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my tab for April because when I get to the 31st down here uh, for February, then, or for March, we've already trans. <laughs> I'm behind. Then uh, once we finish with March, then I'm going to go ahead to my April tab and I'm going to refile everything um, that I needed to wait a month to follow up with. So in addition to my 1 through 31 tabs for days of the month, I also have my monthly tabs so that I can project things out. Or if I have a hostess that booked with me in the spring and she's follow, follow up with me again in the fall when the new catalog comes out, I'm going to go ahead and file her uh, for when I come home from conference to be able to hand her that new catalog and get her set up with a hostess packet. So I don't have things filed in multiple places. Everything's filed in this binder where I need it to be so that um, I don't lose track of my leads. I don't lose track of my gals and starts well, and I certainly don't lose track of my customers and their parties. Then... Once uh, they've finished with their start swell period, I go ahead and I move them into my team binder. And I just take their information sheet that you saw in my No Lead Left Behind binder, and I put them in my team binder. And it's a very simple setup. My G0, I have alphabetized uh, by their last name because I follow up with them a little more closely than I do um, the gals that have another director between us. But then I have a tab for each of my directors and then all of her team members are filed behind there. Just So I still have eyes on who is in my team and how they are doing in promotions and such. But everything for taking care of my customers, my team, and my leads is all contained within two binders and a couple clipboards. So I hope that helps you or gives you some ideas on how to organize your business and keep track of all of those wonderful things that you're working day to day. Have a great 2015.